from the top of Mount Manitoba, the home of NotHallOfFame.com, I thought I would class this up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because usually when I'm doing this, I have uh, usually just some other dumb mail. But, 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 today I've got the University of Georgia's favorite kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Pre-K. Pre-K, oh, pre-K. All right. Yeah, my, it's all good. <laughs> my bad, okay, but, but the favorite of that nonetheless, right? Yeah. Okay, and even though she's a Carolina Panthers fan, we'll, let's all forgive that. Oh, listen, we're already down bad. Oh, okay, because, uh, yeah, as, a, as opposed to how great my Saints are doing. But anyway, uh, yes, uh, but, a, but a, a division. A division a better record than we do. Yes, a, di a division that could possibly be won by either one of our teams at this point. I've got Kim Moten. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Uh, so you were nominated to do this. I put it out there on Twitter because I needed someone to help me promote a basketball show, a show regarding like the top people who I think have made their case for uh -huh. the Basketball Hall of Fame. And you were, I don't know if you were volunteered, but you were voluntold. Mm -hmm. As they say by our good friend, uh, Longhorn Dave. Yep. Yeah, Dave Whitlock over in Texas. And uh, he said that you know, Kim should be the person that I do this with, where we're going to be looking at sort of a preseason look at those who are ranked on my list. This is my list. I'll, I'll put this out uh -huh. there. Uh, so if you don't like what I've done, don't send any hate mail to Kim. You send, it to <laughs> me. you send it to me. And I've received hate mail. It's been interesting. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, uh, somebody who wanted to kill me because I said Tim Duncan was a better player than Kobe. I maintain that still. Uh -huh. I would build my team around Tim over, over Kobe. Love Kobe. Love Tim. Love yeah. Tim more. Got you. But that's just me. So uh, shall we just sort of look at it? You had a chance to see the list that I sent you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just go from the top to bottom. And I'm just going to like tell you what I've got and how we sort of come up with this. Uh, for a little bit of uh, those people watching and for those taking a look at what I do. I'm a stat geek, can't help it. I uh, love stats. Uh, so I've sort of like combined uh, something that's done in baseball uh, where I'm looking at the best seven years of a player and combining that with their elite advanced stats. That's PR, wins over replacements and uh, value over replacement player. Man, hold on. Okay. PR, uh, warp and win share. Sorry, I got that wrong. Sometimes I get stuff wrong. A lot. Uh, <laughs> so with that, uh, I combined. I took the last five years of Hall of Famers, the last five years of Hall of Famers, and just really like combined or, and amalgamated them all, and just sort of like put them all together. This also not just the advanced stats, but uh, All Star games, uh, All Pros, and then championships, because uh, like. Inter interestingly, like, uh, interestingly, is that a word? No, it's not. Yeah, that's okay. Baseball. Uh, if you don't win a title World Series, eh, it's not going to affect you too much. Yeah. It generally doesn't. If you don't win a title in the NBA, it hurts. Yeah. To get to the, to get to the Hall of Fame. It hurts a lot. So we're looking at a lot of that. And so I tried to sort of like amalgamate to uh, put this all together. And obviously number one right now going into the season is LeBron. Mm -hmm. uh lebron james uh he's going to be a first ballot hall of famer he will never be a two-time hall of famer because i don't know if you know this in basketball you can be a hall of famer twice uh for anything you do as a coach or as a gm and if he's a gm he is the worst gm of all time <laughs> oh god uh have you seen the team this the team that he put together in los angeles yeah oof it didn't work it didn't work then. It's not going to work this year. Uh, that's sort of the interesting thing. I had this uh, conversation with somebody not that long ago where we were sort of discussing how 
it's really important to sort of like talk to the active players and in terms of how they sort of view things in terms of halls mm -hmm. of fame. Not if we ask LeBron, because he can't figure anything out in terms of any uh, of that. It's like, uh, you were good five years ago. You want to be on yeah. my team? Um, right. Is there any reason that you can think of, and I can't think of one, but you might have something, because I, I know your football fandom. I don't know your basketball fan. Well, you're Phoenix, aren't you? I do like Phoenix. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't watch the NBA to really after like the Super Bowl, <laughs> but I do watch it some, but mostly it's really after football season's over. Um, but I do like the Phoenix Sun. Okay, so let's get into that. Cause like, I, I find this really interesting how you, I'm, I'm sort of segueing and I do this a lot. You're uh, huge into Georgia football, like massive. Like that, that's kind of your jam, correct? Like like Georgia football, then Carolina football. Am I correct on that? Huh? Like Georgia, like the University of Georgia is bigger than yeah. I'm I'm right. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I asked you this on Twitter, and uh, and that's uh, Kim Moton on Twitter. Uh, sorry, what was it, Kim Moton? I can't remember. Uh, what's your Twitter handle? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think I put it in there. <laughs> no, but, but okay, but how, how do you, how, because you, you said like, okay, you're in Alabama. How do you become a Georgia fan and a Carolina football fan? How is well, this happening? One, for one, in the state of Alabama, we don't have professional teams. Like there's okay. no NBA, there's no NFL. I mean, there is college, but yeah. um, it happened, if I kind of remember, I just, Usually they say in Alabama, as soon as you're born, you know you're going to be for Alabama Auburn. That didn't happen with me. Um, <laughs> but it did for your sisters. Oh, uh, my sister, she used to be an Auburn fan until they fell apart. And now she just don't have anything to do with football. Okay. But I remember I was around 13 and I was in my room and it, it was the Georgia Florida game. And I was about 13 at the time. And so I just was intrigued with Georgia. And it was just that one game, mm -hmm. like, um, I just sat there and watched it. And so after that, I just kept obsessed with Georgia. So, mm -hmm. and it's just been that way ever since. Is that like sacrilegious though, for you to say that living in Alabama as a, to be a Georgia? It, it, like, it, 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 blows, pe it blows people's mind because okay. like, you're from Alabama, you live in Alabama, how are you a Georgia fan? But mm -hmm. I have people in my family that are from Georgia that are also Alabama fans. So. It just, you know, you like who you like. Okay, well, just want to point out what I wore today. Oh, yay, good dog. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, 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 I told our mutual friend Dave I'd be doing that because I've uh, worn Houston gear when him and I have done shows <laughs> together. So uh, for whatever reason, I just seem to have a lot of random stuff because mm -hmm. I, I do. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, LeBron's uh, obviously the number one. There, there, there's no one who's going to get in more unanimously. I think in the in, probably in the next ten years. I think. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, uh, and, and he should. Uh, although, although LeBron, if you're watching, whenever you take pictures of yourself reading a book, maybe mm -hmm. put so, do something in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, because if you take a picture of yourself reading a book, you probably never read the damn book. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, Kevin Durant, I've got him at number two, and Durant's an interesting person. Uh, he is. Yeah, uh, everything that he's sort of done in the last few years, chasing titles, not exactly the most interesting person to talk to. Uh, I think out of all this list of all the players that I'm looking at here, if I would pay a lot of money to watch Durant play, and I have. If you said, "Okay, hey, let's uh, Kirk, let's go see, uh, let's go have dinner with Kevin Durant," uh, I'll pass. <laughs> I, I don't think he's got anything to say. He's not never a happy individual, but you can't say that anyone who's done what he's done is not going to be first ballot. Also, agreed. Right. Well, I think, in a way, 
he is kind of a hard person to talk to. But I think it's because, like, which I couldn't handle it. That's probably why I never play sports, dealing with the media. And, um, mm-hmm. like, I guess, like, you know, being on social media, getting antagonized all the time, especially by Skip Bayless, who I feel like is obsessed with Kevin Durant and LeBron James. Um, it can kind of probably get on your nerves. And of course, you know, they shouldn't, they should just like let it fly over their heads, but of course they don't. But I just feel like in the point, you know, like people give Kevin Durant a bad rap from going from Oklahoma to Golden State to the Nets. And, and you know, this past summer, they thought he was going to leave the Nets, but he, you know, he ended up staying. Ended but, up staying. Um, in, a, in a sense, you know, so that's probably why I feel the way I feel. But um, I do definitely think he's going to be a Hall of Famer. But, you know, with Kevin, though, I mean, like, you're talking about social media. I mean, this is the same guy. He created his own burner account. But <laughs> like, to basically try to protect himself. He, he's, a, he's a very, how do I put this? Uh, okay, as much as I don't want to hang out with him, I think if I was a psychiatrist, He's probably up here. Uh, ben Simmons would be number two, maybe number one. I won't know. Um, <laughs> so, I, so yeah, but we've got two people who are, they're going to be first ballot Hall of Famers. Uh, I moved up from last year, Steph Curry from five to three. What do you think? Definitely. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. He, to me, he's just a special player. Like, um, I don't think anybody will have a problem playing with him because he makes his team better. And when you think of Golden State, you think of Steph Curry. So. Yeah, absolutely. Like, well, well, four titles, four titles as the leader. As the leader of a team, uh, I still remember, and you probably watched this too, like, uh, and I bought into this because like, uh, Charles is saying it, I believe it until he was wrong uh yeah where everyone was sort of like saying like you're, you're just shooting threes on stop it's not gonna work you're not gonna win a title until they did yeah and again and again and again and again steph curry is a transcendent player mm-hmm. uh i i still remember watching him play what was it davidson i might be wrong yeah that's where he's from davidson okay yeah yeah so and you know, moving him number three, I, I thought was sort of like pretty big. It's more of a, just to him, because like I had Chris Paul ahead of him, but I don't need more. I got Chris Paul at number four. And that's your, that's somebody you like, obviously, because you're a Suns, Suns fan. Uh, Chris Paul, I, I always felt is hampered a little bit because the Clippers w- never did anything. They failed. They did. They failed over and over and over again. Uh, I, I don't know if that's necessarily Chris Paul or maybe that might be somebody else we might be talking about later in Blake Griffin. But uh-huh. I wrote Chris Paul off incorrectly three years ago. Okay. I wrote him off. But here he is. Uh, I think he's over 35. And what can't he do? He can do it all. It's just like, and I, and that's why I think I root for Phoenix so bad because I would love for him to get a ring. Of course, I do still think he's going to the Hall of Fame if he doesn't get a ring. But yeah. I would just love for him to get a ring because he's so deserving of it. And um, to me, he made Phoenix a better team along with making Devin Booker a better player and those around him. So I so, think he did. So Kim, player. is your fandom uh, of the of Phoenix sort of like based on a lot of it on Chris Paul? Partially, and then I, um, I didn't know a lot about Devin Booker, but then I, I kind of like started, you know, looking at his game and I ended up liking him. So then, I started just liking the Phoenix Suns on kind of Chris Paul and then Devin Booker. Because mm-hmm. you were you were talking earlier, because like just being in Alabama, there is no like NBA team, obviously there. Uh is where in, where in Alabama are you? If you don't mind me asking. 
Um, I am in a small little town called Cherokee County. It is like um, maybe about 20, like north, 30 minutes south. away from Rome. We're north. Okay. All right. So like, uh, what does so like, this NBA team then? Like Nashville? Not uh, Nashville, Memphis. Uh, Atlanta Hawks and then um, men. And then Memphis. Okay. All right, so like, uh, unlike uh, in terms of like with co with uh, college sports, we've got it, people who are following basketball. It could be anything, right? Okay, fair enough. All right, uh, I'm just trying to like put that in my head. Number five. Number five is my most fascinating individual. Somebody who I think, and I've been on record saying this, who I think might be that somebody who might have a one-digit IQ, and that's James Harden. <laughs> he's I he was number four on my list last year now he's number five he's going to be in the hall of fame pretty much right away but James Harden's reputation has taken a colossal pounding I think in the last two years uh always sort of like saying like okay I, I need to go somewhere else now he's entering the season with I think this is the first time in maybe 10 years he's entering a season where there's no doubt he's not the best player on his team. Exactly. Now, Harden, like, thoughts on him? Like, because, again, he's not, again, dumber than a bag of hammers. I'll say that openly. I, I have no problem with that. But offensively, when he's on, one of the most gifted players I've ever seen. Uh-huh. I like him, but I just don't. I feel like as he left Oklahoma, which was not his fault. I mean, they traded him. Um, once he got the Rockets, you know, he had that, you know, was going good, everything. And then, like, he just gave up and was ready to be gone. And then he went with the Nets, and that didn't work out with Kyrie and Kevin Durant. So now he's with, is it Philly? This is it now. It was with him, Yeah. I, I don't know. There's something about, James, he just also again dumber than a box of rocks, but one hell of a player. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite players of all time, I think, ever. Uh, going from seven to six, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Love him. Love everything about him. Yeah. Uh, I just saw, because I just got the whole Disney thing. So what, they just did a whole Disney thing on him? The Under the Gumbos? Yes. Um, off his story. I watched that movie, too. It's such a good movie. Um, okay, is it? I haven't watched it. So, okay. So, so how is that? It is really good. It's basically based on how um, um, his parents basically um, worked their hardest to make a better life for him and his brothers. And then basically to get him over here to the United States. And it is just not to give a lot away, but it is really a great movie. I enjoyed it. Well, I kind of know how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to give anything away. I, I, I was talking to uh, to somebody I do the, my, my weekly Hall of Fame show with. I find it fascinating that in the last four years, the last four MVPs, because Giannis twice, Jokic twice, have not been American. And I don't mm -hmm. think that's ever happened. And I think Embiid's going to win it this year. Mm -hmm. Which I heard that he just became an American citizen. Oh, wow. From, uh, what was he? From uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I think, uh, and you heard it first, folks. Sixers <laughs> are going to win the whole thing. Not that I want that. I'm a, Tor I'm a Toronto guy, obviously. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Giannis, I think, even though he's he's hardly, play, well, he hasn't played even 10 years. Mm -hmm. How is a two-time MVP not going to be in the hall right away? Uh, I think he's he's going to shoe in because and also his style is very different. And um, his style is very different to me. And he's another one, like, they didn't have the star players on the team. And um, what a big name, big name players on their team when they won that championship that year. So um, definitely shooting for the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. 
You know, that's very true, right? Because because uh, you look at his two biggest players with him, uh, Middleton and uh, Holiday, mm -hmm. uh, who are on my top 50, but lower down. Mm -hmm. They're not getting into the hall. Yeah. Probably not. I mean, it's possible, <laughs> but at this stage, probably not. And I, I think that's also, too, where I look at the whole thing where there's a whole bunch of stuff going between, like, LeBron and uh, uh, Michael Jordan. Somebody asked me the other day, like, all right, who's a better player, LeBron or Michael Jordan? I said, well, it's not even close. MJ's got more titles. And if I were to put together a team of his best teammates, I couldn't win a title. If I could put together a team of, of LeBron's best teammates, I could. Yeah. Anyone less. And I feel like I'm dumping on LeBron here, but I guess I am. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, he's he'll he'll cry in his billions. But anyway, uh, here's somebody who fascinates the hell out of me. Uh, Russell Westbrook, what an yeah. awful year! Uh, he I had him at six last year. He's dropped to seven. Uh huh. MVPs in the in in the NBA always make the Hall of Fame. The only one who never has. <clears throat> or well, well, they all have, except for one person who I think won't. Is that, and that's Derek Rose. Mm -hmm. Derek Rose won't make it. Westbrook, I think, is a Hall of Famer based on everything that he's done. Yet, yeah. I say that based on the bar that exists. Westbrook will can't do shit on this team. He can't. Well, I think it also has to do with. They really haven't gelled together. I mean, if you don't work together as a team, it's not going to work anyways. I mean, if you do your own thing, it's not going to work. Um, that's one thing I think the Lakers are going to have to do, and hopefully maybe they did, I don't know, was um, gel. Hopefully they, they gel and got to know each other's game and let's make this team better. But like I said, I highly doubt that. But, you know, just hopefully that happened because he did have a bad year last year. Like, it was awesome. It was bad. It was a bad year. It was. It was. It was a very bad, such a bad year that that his kids were breaking down because because people were calling his dad West Brick. Uh, that that's sort of like why I joked earlier. Like LeBron should never be a GM for anybody. I mean, you got that team last year started off with seven potential Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. So LeBron. Westbrook, Davis, uh, was Mark Gasol on that team? I think so. John Rondo was on that team. Uh, Dwight Howard. Mm -hmm. And they didn't make the playoffs with six potential Hall of Famers. They didn't. That Which was never also again. to me last year, um, the West was very mm -hmm. packed like there were some pretty good teams last year. Unfortunately, the Lakers stuck and they just couldn't get it done. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Yeah, well, that team was, was a disaster to watch. Oh, one sec, hon. Right here. Doing this live, that's OK. Uh, we have dogs, so we have to sort of do that. So like, <laughs> I don't want to edit anything here, Kim. So it's all good. <laughs> Uh, Jokic, Nikola Jokic, uh, going from 13 to, to number eight. Love him. I love this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Two-time MVP. Nobody who's been a two-time MVP does not make the, make the Hall of Fame. Saying that, uh -huh. does he ever win a title? Uh, not with this team. See, I don't know a lot about him or team partially because I never really sat down because he plays on Denver right that's right yeah yes yeah. see I've never really like I pretty much was done with the Nuggets after Carmelo left that was a <laughs> long time ago um so but I've heard about him and I you know I've seen him but I really don't know like a lot a lot about him okay nothing he's he's a white Giannis nothing mm -hmm. he can't do yeah yeah, uh, I do think Giannis is a, a better player in his peak. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but there's just something about these. I, I, I got to say, like, when I was talking to my friends, like, uh, years ago, it's like, if you were to told me that, okay, you know what? I, I think I could build a team around a white European. I would have said, like, screw off. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> you know. Uh, okay. Number nine. He's a free agent coming into the season. Somebody who uh-huh. I, I don't like. Don't like him at all. Uh, but I think he's a Hall of Famer. That's Dwight Howard. Yes. He's, um, which I liked him more when he was at, with Orlando. Um, mm-hmm. You know, of course, you know, that didn't work out. But you know, that's part of life. Um, well, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, when he was he, in Orlando, he carried that team to the finals. Then yeah. said, okay, like, all right, I, I can't go anywhere. Follow the whole Shaquille O'Neal thing and going to LA. But unlike Shaq, nothing worked out. It, it's, he went with Kobe. And Kobe, there's a lot of people who may dislike Kobe, uh, you know, back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like now he's a, he's a god. But back in the day, back then, Back, back then, Kim, back then when I was younger. <laughs> you know, like, Kobe could be a whiner. Kobe could be a pain in the butt. But mm-hmm. nothing that you could, nobody could ever say. Nobody could ever say that Kobe didn't want to win. Right. And I honestly think that's what really broke up Kobe and Shaq more than anything else. Is that Shaq is seven foot everything uh-huh and just lived off his size dwight wasn't much different right and here's something i learned shaquille o'neal never won a rebounding title how is that possible when you look when you're his size wow you know and i and i think that's really what drove kobe nuts and i and it drove him nuts when Dwight got there and then Dwight failed in Charlotte. He failed in Washington. He failed in Atlanta. Came back in LA, did win a title. When he sort of like got a little bit less selfish. Does, Mm -hmm. but when he was at his best, holy crap, was he good. Right. And I I don't know anymore with him. There's a lot of negative shit on him. I mean, here's a guy this size wasn't crap last year and nobody wants him right now that says a lot to me yeah i don't know all right closing off the uh top 10 anthony davis who Uh just can't stay healthy he can't stay healthy (laughs) and i i don't know i i could have flipped him easily with Kawhi leonard uh Mm -hmm. I'm obviously biased as a Raptors fan, you know, because Kawhi won the title for us. Yeah. Uh, I believe the only player to win the NBA MVP finals with two different teams was Kawhi. Mm -hmm. But I want to close out the the top 15. I got Damian Lillard at 12. Uh Uh, But the next two, I think, are more interesting. Because you brought him up earlier. Carmelo. Uh-huh. All right. So you followed Carmelo. Like your thoughts on Carmelo. Like obviously you like you like it. You like him. You enjoy uh-huh. him. Uh-huh. Um, I did enjoy him. I loved him when he played for Denver. Um, definitely a Hall of Famer. Of course, you know, he ain't gonna have the ring, but of course likely don't have one either. Um, so um but. I really don't like him. But, but. Uh, oh, sorry. Well, no, there's a big but. There's a big but, and I cannot lie. <laughs> um, uh, his, um, he did, you know, he kind of went down, and especially I like the publicity getting all that about him. Um, having personal issues and everything like that. And I kind of feel like that kind of messed with this game, too. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah. Let's talk well, about that. <laughs> When you go to play in New York, just shit goes bad. Right. It just goes bad. Uh, what does help Carmelo, I think, is 
the Basketball Hall of Fame Kate cares about college. Yeah. And Carmelo was a champion at Syracuse. Mm -hmm. he, he was a one and done, but he, he led them to a title. And I think that does matter. Uh, I like Carmelo. I love the fact, I loved him more when he said, when he finally realized, okay, I'm not a starter anymore. I'm a bench guy. Yeah. And then he embraced it. Mm -hmm. And it gave him a second life. And that, I love that. But the guy who got next at 14, man, it's Kyrie. And, huh? okay. So, I don't know if you know this. I'm a Canadian. Uh-huh. Did you know that or not? Yes, I think I remember you telling me on Twitter that you were a Canadian. That's right. Well, oh, Canada. <laughs> but uh, so we're not as politically we charged as your country is. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyrie, during the pandemic. Uh-huh said that he wasn't going to get vaxxed. Fine. Personally, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Pardon my French. I really don't care. Uh, for those wondering, I did. I chose to. I'm happy about it, but I don't care what anyone else does. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, but that sort of like made him a darling for some right-wing people. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't believe Kyrie thinks in those terms. Uh, Kyrie di does have his own set of principles, right or wrong, love him or hate him, mm -hmm. but he's got his principles and he stays by them and it costs him probably, when it's all said and done, it's probably going to cost him $100 million, because mm -hmm. you know, uh, I don't think he's, he's going to be re-signed by Nike, he's not going to be Uncle Drew too, mm -hmm. nor should there be, it's awful, but anyway. Uh, Kyrie is also, I think he's over 30. Probably, I yeah. would say. Yeah. So here we have a guy who, when I told you about the metrics I, I came up with, he's right there. But he said, he, he's the only guy, to, to, my, to my knowledge anyway, who said, yeah, I don't want to play with LeBron. I'm gonna, I want to be my own LeBron. Mm -hmm. He pissed off the people in Boston. He does what he wants to do. He thinks the earth is flat. <laughs> what do we do with him? I mean, um, he did win two titles, am I correct? One. Oh. You, won, you won one with LeBron. Okay. I think I'm the next one won, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we so, all thought the Nets were going to win one, right? That is true. And I guess I just want him put on them winning one. But um, he doesn't get a bad rap. Um, definitely has some personal issues. Um, it's either his way or the highway, in my opinion. Um, but his numbers speak for themselves. And I think he would be a Hall of Famer. I think so. Okay. So I'm not sure, right? Because I don't think he's quite I, okay. If uh, if Brooklyn wins it all this year, and who the hell knows this year? It's a wide open. It is very wide open. It's wide open, and you know, at this point, uh, he's can he can play everywhere. So, and when he did play last year, he was great. You know, losing Harden doesn't really hurt. If Ben Simmons. Yeah. There's a big if. I mean, like anyone can win that. If if Kyrie leads, and I say leads Brooklyn to a title, mm -hmm. I don't see how you put him out. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just sort of like throw off the the next few here. Uh, we got Paul George, Rudy Gobert, Jimmy Butler, Blake Griffin, Clay Thompson. Thoughts. I don't know a lot about Rudy Gobert, so I really can't say. Um, well, he's French. <laughs> um, Paul George, mm, I don't think so. I don't see it. 
Okay. Um, Clay Thompson definitely will be a Hall of Famer. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think so. Um, he's done a lot for Golden State. I mean, it's like one thing I did love about Golden State is like if Steph was having off an off night, then there's Clay. Yes, Clay did struggle in the playoffs this past year. Um, but when they needed him the most, he was there. So um, I don't think you can deny him in the Hall of Fame. I think I think with Clay too, also the fact that he came back and then everything sort of turned around. You know, for Golden State, might be maybe I've got him like ranked too low. Uh, so I've got uh, then Kevin Love, Joel Embiid, and Embiid, who I, I said that is one, like one of the top five players of all right now. He hasn't played that long. That's why he's he's where he is. Embiid's probably going to jump wow. ten spots. Uh, Kyle Lowry, Draymond, and then Demar Derozan, who really sort of like had a big comeback that I didn't see coming as a Raptors fan, mm -hmm. you know, in Chicago. I and definitely think you have to put DeMarc and Ro DeMar DeMar Rosen in Hall of Fame. Really? Yes. Really? Okay. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like I said, there's going to be a lot of these players who are not going to have the ring, but... They still have players in there that don't have a ring. But to me, if their numbers show for themselves and how consistent they are, and mm -hmm. they got to let them in. That's just my opinion. I don't know. I let them in. I would. All right. So I, I got a couple here here that I think might be interesting. Uh, we have Carl Anthony Towns, who has really improved. Uh, he's up at 26. Luka Doncic, who was 42 last year. Now he's 27. Mm-hmm. Love Don Kitch. Love him. Uh, and then Jason Tatum has gone from 50 to 34. Yes. He definitely improved um, last it, year. His Boston. coach, not so much. Right. <laughs> and, and I hate that for them this upcoming year because, you know, I feel like that's definitely going to affect the team a whole lot mm -hmm. um, because they were amazing last year. I mean, they came up short, but they played their hearts out and mm -hmm. Now, this happened with their coach, and you never know what's going to happen. But yeah. I feel like, I think what kind of held Boston back is like, to me, they're missing like another player, another maybe a role player that who could have came off the bench and gave them some points because, you know, um, Horsford, for, he's getting older in age. He, you know, is not probably going to be too much longer playing. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's like 36. Something like that. I got Horford right now at number 28 on my list. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, Jalen Brown, is that his name? Um, Love him. Love him. Good player. And then, of course, you have Marcus Smart. And like I said, mm -hmm. I feel like they're maybe missing another role player. And I, you know, of course, you know, um, I think that would have helped them. But, you know. Happen, but I do like Jason Tatum, and I think his game will continue to get better. And um, hopefully, he will ever get a championship. But if not, I think um, he will be a shooter for the Hall of Fame. And who will Neil Long be cheering for right this year? <laughs> I don't know. She's probably not. She's probably don't want nobody in NBA no more. Oh my God! Uh, Let's get her a blue collar man. Kim, I, I, I got to say, like, right, because, like, uh, when my Raptors are eliminated, I don't give a shit at this point, right? <laughs> so, like, so, like, when all this stuff was sort of, like, going on, it's like, you've got uh, Ime Odoka, and then I'm looking at that, and I, I know that he was married to Nia Long, and Nia Long was a crush for a lot of people my age. Yeah. And then you see Nia she, her doing her TikToks and whatever, it's like, oh, I'm cheering for Boston. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was, man, I, I have never seen anyone fall faster from grace. Well, I guess I have, but. <laughs> you know, he was pretty fast. I mean, I don't see him ever coaching in the NBA again. 
Probably not. Uh, what was the last thing I, I read? Uh, they think that he might have been with one of the owner's wives. Oh, God. Lord. So, um, and I hate that for him because he seemed like such a good coach. Um, he was a good coach. You he know, was. I mean, like, he turned he turned all that around. Uh, like like uh like probably like mid season uh, right. uh one of my good friends he's a Celtics fan and he said like uh they were ready to, to uh, write him out of the city and then he he turned it all around and <sighs> I don't it sucks because like he had it all in front of him he he had it all in front of him and then just to lose it that quick. Uh, I guess if I look like that too, so I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's not worth it, as you can see. Yeah, you know, exactly. Uh, so with that, I'm really happy that you sort of like uh, came here to sort of like uh, help uh, with this. this. is a bit of promotion for a new section. I hope mm-hmm. you're going to be back here again. And where can people find you on Twitter? Um, <laughs> somewhere cheering for Georgia, but. Um, I think, oh, yeah, thank Georgia. You. <laughs> you know, um, you probably complaining that Carolina's probably going to be the number one draft pick, but that's okay. Um, I truly don't think it's going to be Detroit this year. It's going to really be Carolina. It's going to be draft the number one. Not gonna but be Detroit. you keep on. Detroit's huh? trying. Detroit's trying. Exactly. They are trying. And I feel mm-hmm. like that coach that they got is really um, pushing them to stay in these games, like, because usually Detroit would have been done, gave up. So that's why I don't think they're going to be drafted number one. It's going to be Carolina. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, You can find me at, what is my Twitter handler? Kim, just type in Kimberly Moten. You should be able to find me. <laughs> no, just Kimberly Moten. You'll find her. Yeah. Well, again, part of the time. Uh, yeah, uh, again, Georgia's favorite non-Alabama pre-K teacher yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right with that thank you all for watching wherever you are wherever you may be stay safe everyone Buckner verse production <laughs> that's my dogs they were waiting for that moment they too funny yeah i guess so <laughs> all right <laughs>